Aquarius, this time it is all about you. Thank you so much for your patience because I know your day is Sunday. But I did not get the reading to you on Sunday and um, I apologize. It was just, it's just been a, there's just been a lot going on on this side and I, I, I appreciate your patience. So Aquarius, let's start. Uh, well, first, welcome to the channel. For all of you who are first finding me, hi, my name is Michelle and this is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. Um, our goal here is just basically become the strongest, best person, best version of ourselves we possibly can. So come on in, join the journey. Uh, click that subscribe button down below and also click that link, um, click that bell twice so that you know when I go live and upload all the content. Aquarius, if you are on platforms that allow for commercials, there will be one coming up in a couple of seconds. There will be no more to interrupt the message. Let me say preemptively thank you because that's actually a donation to the channel when you let the commercial run. So I appreciate it and I'll see you very soon. All right, Aquarius, thank you for your patience. This is a two-part reading. We start over here on YouTube with a full oracle spread that gives us general energies for the week ahead. So that's October 28th through November 4th of 2019. And then we'll go over to, and you'll find the link below in the description box. Um, you will find um, that over on Vimeo, I do a full tarot card spread. Um, to get an extended, um, to get to get more information, a little bit deeper, an extended reading over on Vimeo, full tarot card spread, um, as well as a Whispers of Love romance reading, all in the same video. So. If you hear barking in the background, it is my new puppy. Uh, I am crate training, and it is not going well. It's been very difficult, but um, she is loved, I guarantee it. All right, Aquarius. So, Aquarius energy for October 28th through November 4th of 2019. Uh, reading and information and energy for Aquarius. Yes, we just had a new, uh, a new moon. We have it tonight. Tonight is the new moon in Scorpio. I just put up a video. It's time stamped. You can go find your reading there too. Um, that's under my daily videos. If you're curious about specifically today and how the new moon is going to affect you, uh, please do go watch that video. Aquarius energy for October 8th through November 4th of 2019. October 28th through November 4th of 2019. October 8th through November 4th of 2019. What are the energies and messages for Aquarius? Things are a little bit heavier than they usually are. This is the reading. This is the energy that's crowning the reading. A little bit heavier. Um, like you're not playing around uh, with a particular person or a particular somebody. Something that you expected to be more fun than it was. It's not really coming out that way. There's a little bit more of a burden than you expected. Um, and you are you are a hard worker, and you are can almost obsessively commit yourself to. Um, a specific job or goal or project. Um, you are creators. You are amazingly creative people. So this isn't, it, it's not like, you know, see the bigger picture. I don't think you're seeing the bigger picture. And what's weird is that you usually do see the bigger picture. Maybe this isn't a bigger picture. Uh, what is impeding you? Oh, time to let go, but you're not letting go. Interesting, Aquarius. There's something that you don't want to end. There's something that's happening to you right now that you don't want to come to an end. You're reluctant to let it go because, because you don't want to see it gone. Okay. So let's get these are crowning the energy. The energy crowning this reading is um, sandpiper spirit. Be playful, but that's it's heavy. It's turned upside down. And a lot of things this week and a lot of cards, these readings um, for the zodiac signs have been flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> it's not it's not what it usually is. And I think that you're experiencing the same thing. You're having a hard time being being light and carefree you're having a hard time releasing an experience in your life it has to do with details it has to do with maybe somebody somebody tall somebody elegant um somebody um 
somebody lithe, somebody large eyes. Uh, there's, I, there's a somebody coming through. Um, Giraffe-like, elegant and graceful, but they sort of have turned you upside down and, and it's not something that you necessarily want to let go of, but you, it, you know, for the, maybe for the first time in your life, you're a little bit stuck on um, a situation or a circumstance or a person and you don't want to let go. It is time to let go. Um, but I think maybe also this maybe not be time to let go. You don't feel it's time to let go. You don't feel like it's time to end. Aquarius, this could very well mean that you have found somebody in your life that's significant enough for you to not want to let go of, or you have found a place in your life where you don't want to get involved in any romantic or relationship situation and you've decided to remain single, but at the same time, I think it's sort of short-sighted of you to make that decision in some way. I don't, I don't know why. Let me flip over the rest of the cards. Um, you see clearly now, and that's in reverse. All of these cards are in reverse. I did not shuffle them that way. They came out that way. Let spirit be your guide and sweet results await. Um, so basically, this is not about you having to, like, because this is a very Aquarian card. This is a very Aquarian energy. So it's almost like it's not on you. It's on somebody else. Maybe it's somebody else that won't decide on you. Life is a mystery. It, 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 it almost seems like um, they presented themselves to you as one thing. Clear out the clutter. You may be dealing with a Cancerian open to infinite possibilities, star, somebody who really shines or you think you really shine and be loyal to what you love. Yeah, so this person is having a hard time believing that you, that, that, that you, they are what you want or this, this situation is a have, having a hard time either getting you to want to stick around or, no, 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 that's not what I see. No, no, you don't want to let go of something. This is quite out of character for you, but you've actually found something that's worth sticking around for. And you don't want to let go. You're sort of standing by your guns on this one too. Um, something, is, something is coming to an end, Aquarius, but it's not... You see clearly now. No, you don't understand. That's the thing. You don't, you don't understand why this person doesn't want to be with you. In other words, you, you, you sense the chemistry. You feel the chemistry. You, you sense the chemistry. You feel the chemistry. You know there's potential. You feel a deep spiritual connection to this person. But, and, and you almost can't take your eyes off of them. You actually almost feel their eyes on you all the time. But you don't understand why they're just not letting go and trusting you they're having a hard time letting go they're having a hard time believing that they are something that you would want there's something very diametrically different between the two of you and they're having a hard time believing that you'll ever be able to make it work there's something that's going on that is basically saying uh, something that's going on in their mind even if this is an opportunity even if this is a job you know, it's almost like the hiring manager or the hiring team is, is even though you are the obvious choice, even though it is, it is very clear to you that you are perfect for this role for some reason. And you, you honestly don't understand why they're making it so difficult to offer you the role for you. It's a little bit convoluted. It's like they're stick, they're stuck or they haven't, they're, they're like still thinking maybe we won't let go of this old person or they're still thinking, oh, maybe we'll try somebody from within the team. Why? You are not understanding that because you know that you're the absolute best choice for this position in this role. And if this is a relationship, this is really you not understanding why this person... This has something to do with performance, something to do with... It has something to do with... I feel like it has something to do with... Um... It has something to do, I don't know what I would say was performance. Maybe they weren't being themselves around you and that's the real problem. You know, it's like you met in under, um, 
maybe convoluted circumstances or heightened sort of dramatic circumstances or this opportunity came to you almost too perfectly and it seemed too good to be true and maybe underlying it all it really was it was too good to be true it's not that the person is insincere it's that I don't think that if this if you're dealing with a person I I have this feeling that you don't they don't feel like they're good enough for you Time to let go, see the big picture, be playful. This is a flipped circumstance. Usually you would be playing the other role. Usually you would be the one thinking why this won't work or why I'd rather stay single. And I feel like the, the instances or the circumstances have definitely flipped around on you. Like you're finally meeting somebody who has sort of flipped the switch and is, is making you feel like you're confused or that you're in a fog and they've sort of not taken over your mind. Um, maybe you don't feel like yourself. Let's put it that way. Aquarius, there's, there's a sense of you not, You know, maybe it's either them or you that has not been completely honest and has been pretending to be more interested in the situation or relationship than you are, or if not interested, more confident in the relationship or situation than they are. Um, it's... It's somebody who's almost said things to please you, but that wasn't necessarily true or it wasn't necessarily coming from a sincere place, coming from a place of being ready and prepared to basically be everything to you that they implied that they could be to you because of the wonderful way that they talk about you, the wonderful way that they behave around you. I feel like essentially you're dealing with somebody who is a person pleaser, somebody who really cares about what other people think about them. They are fake. They're not fake to be manipulative, but they're fake to be accepted. They're fake to fit in. They're very, they're very unconventional. They seem like somebody who is, who, who would be perfect because they're intriguing. But I think part of that intrigue is the fact that you can't figure them out. And the reason why you can't figure them out is and I hope that you're watching this reading is because they're not being real with you like what who wh in other words the variables that they're presenting to you don't have anything to do with their sum like the variables are never going to add up to what they are their sum total because they're giving you the wrong variables they're giving you the variables so they're giving you the data that you almost like regurgitating what they think you want to hear as opposed to them giving you the real data data or, or variables about themselves so that you can understand them and put them together and come up to the right sum. I don't think that they, have, they haven't intentionally deceived you to be manipulative or to take pleasure in deception. They've done it because they want to please you. They want to be what they want you to see them the way that they, they want to be the person that you think they are. And that has really gotten in the way of the two of you actually being able to have a real relationship between the two of you. I can understand this. I feel like people do want to impress Aquariuses because Aquariuses are very impressive people. They walk into a room with a lot of confidence, self-assured, really knowing who they are, and they have a gentle touch. They're very easy to talk to. So this is somebody whose presence you want to stay around. And there is a situation where, or if this is a job, it's like they're, they're, they want to keep you on the hook. They know what they have in you, but they're just not really sure that they can actually pay you. Like really, they don't, they don't know if they can pay you all that you want. They don't know that they can meet your offer or that they can live up to what they know you're worth or what you're asking for, but they've led you this far. Um, the sad situation is that you, you could see such potential. You could see that there would be such wonderful things happening. And in a way, I think, in a, in a lot of ways, 
it's the awkwardness of the situation that almost intrigued you. So it's just that the, the other side doesn't understand that their awkwardness is part of what intrigued you. They think it's, you know, telling you what you want to hear. And that is honestly working against your happiness. It is confusing the shit out of you, Aquarius. And I don't think you guys get... I guess I don't think you guys get confused easily. You may get distracted easily because a lot of things interest you, but you don't get confused easily. When you actually want to focus on something, you go all in and you can understand things. You can understand them because you usually take an aerial uh, bird's eye view, but you are in, in the trenches on this one. This is not something that you can grasp. And I think because of that inverted perspective, it's actually more fun and more intriguing for you. Let me flip the camera around so you can see. All right, Aquarius, so you can see that the cards, as I shuffled, these three cards are the ones that came face up. So this is the energy crowning your reading. Normally, this would be you. You would be very light and very playful. You would be very happily skipping along and just seeing the beauty of the surface of things and overlooking everything, right? And it would be easy for you to let go. I found it very interesting and intriguing that three cards, which would normally be easy for you, energies that would be actually natural for you, are now inverted. So you, you are in a situation this week that is not natural for you. You are not feeling yourself. You are not feeling what you would normally feel. There is something going on that's a lot deeper, something that is taking you longer to understand. This is the other inverted card. This would be your card because you're like the wise old owl. You would be able to see that higher philosophical perspective that other people can't see. You would be the direction, right? Right now, you're lost. You're almost lost in the dark because maybe in some ways you actually like being there. You, you want to take this leap of faith in somebody. You like being um, sort of one with spirit. See, to be one with spirit. You like the faith journey. You've never really tried it before. Or maybe, maybe you have, and this is just, it's been a long time, but you are, you definitely enjoy not knowing what's around the corner. You, there's a part of you that is really taking pleasure in what's happening to you right now. Life is a mystery. You like the mystery. You like the intrigue. You, you, you like not being able to figure. And I feel like it is a specific person. This is my Cancerian card because they have a tendency to hold on and not let go. And they have a tendency to transform midlife into something much more different and mature, a mature version that's much more diverse than what they were born. They were born, Cancerians are born confined to the water, like a, I'm sorry, frogs are born confined to the water as tadpoles. And then, you know, they, they grow legs and they can hop and they can live a really different life. They can, you know, kind of swim through the water and jump on top of it. So it's, it's a, it's a, it's a much easier place. It's almost like they're creatures of the land and water. They've learned how to make that bridge when they're mature. So you could be dealing with a Cancerian. Like I said, somebody long and lithe with big doe eyes, very beautiful presence, very elegant, has really captivated you and you like feeling this way or you don't like feeling this way, but you like not like feeling this way. It's like um, open to infinite possibilities. And be loyal to what you love. You want to understand. You want to understand the situation better. You want to understand the circumstance and understand where this person or the you know this I don't know whoever is interviewing you this corporation. You want to understand the mindset behind why it's taking them so long to just turn around and see. Hey, hey, I'm the one. Aquarius, I also think that you have, I don't know, I feel like a little bit of disappointment in the way that something has turned out, and that would be more professional. So there could be some of you that are very disappointed in the fact that this is not, that something is coming to an end, or, or this, is not, this is not manifesting the way that it was meant, or you felt like it was going, because it was looking real, real good. I do think that this has to be, you have to proceed in faith. Aquarius, I don't think that you're going to get anywhere by trying to use your logic because things are going to keep not adding up because somebody hasn't been honest with you. You know where they will be honest? Down in the depth, down in the water emotionally.
There also could be a situation that if you're in a long term, uh, if there there is a, a long term situation like a job that you've been at a long time, something that you've dedicated a lot of your life to. Um, there is a sense this week of you almost feeling detached from it. Like you almost, something that you've known for years, you don't recognize anymore. Aquarius, I'm going to go into this a little bit deeper. I'm going to go a lot deeper over on Vimeo. Uh, we really need to know what is causing the mix up, where the, what this mystery is, what, where, where the confusion lies and really how to clear all of this up. Because there seems to be like major juxtapositions here. And I want to see where tarot takes us. So I'll meet you over on Vimeo, guys.